Good Tuesday morning, everybody, live and direct from in and around central Memphis at the Pink Palace Museum. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a quick weather update for you on our weather overtime video weather blog. If you've never seen this before, this is where we try to keep you updated on what's going on with as much weather as possible across the Mid-South. Things are relatively quiet for now. Some showers out there early this morning and more possible throughout the rest of the day today. Maybe even a few rumbles of thunder, but as of right now, you can see behind me through the trees, it's awfully cloudy out there, overcast sky across much of the Mid-South and also seeing again some fairly quiet conditions for the rest of the week. Still the possibility of some of those showers and thunderstorms out there. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. Forecast update in the blue bar here. Social media, want to find me out there in the red bar here or in the icons up above my head. Also, don't forget to join us on News Channel 3 at WREG.com slash weather for all the weather information out across the Mid-South. Current look at SIGAlert.com from the traffic center showing again a little bit of some slowdowns taking place especially around Sam Cooper into around the area of East Parkway right in the middle of your screen. Also some slowdowns reported around the area of Crump down toward I-55 and on Lamar just to the south of the Mississippi State Line right along the inbound area where they have that decent amount of construction going on. Uh, new updates showing again the slow conditions into that area, uh, showing again a little bit less in the way of speed as we get into the rest of the morning out there. What we've got in the way of storm systems coming on through isn't really all that much. Things are quiet. What we have at this point in time is, again, the main jet stream, all those moving lines you see back to the north of us, that's going to be heading along and around portions of the Canadian border. The main energy of the atmosphere is passing well to our north is basically what this means. And the chance of us getting anything in the way of major activity doesn't appear to be a main threat. Now, later on this week, that could be a different story. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Things are decently quiet this morning, as I've said. And again, cloud cover sticking around the area. Visible satellite picture is showing at least a little bit of activity out there where it comes to cloud cover, to say the least. Radar underneath all of that stuff. We have, again, some light spotty showers into parts of the Mid-South, but we don't really have much of anything else. A lot of activity back toward eastern Tennessee and down toward the Gulf states around Houston, picking up some rain showers, Corpus Christi down along the Texas Gulf Coast, and some of that heading up toward Louisiana. Beyond that, we just don't really have a lot of much of anything going on directly where we are. In the Mid-South area, again, we're showing, again, little of anything taking place except for a little bit of rainfall showing up into around areas of eastern Arkansas and down into around southeastern Arkansas. Also some scattered showers taking place into around the Holly Springs, Ashland area, south and west of Faulkner, west of Ripley, Mississippi this morning. That's where we're picking up most of the rainfall at this time. It looks like Abbeville down to around Oxford is also getting some pretty good amounts of rainfall, at least enough to wet the roadways down. So if you're heading anywhere in northern Mississippi, that's where we wind up with some more problems. But so far, we're not showing anything in the way of lightning. North of I-40 at this time, a scattered shower between the area of Dyersburg and Humboldt, right between Friendship and Trenton, Tennessee, south of Dyer, Tennessee, moving up to the northeast. And again, beyond that, there's just really not that much taking place. Place at this time, so decently quiet across much of the area. On Mars, what did it look like a couple of days ago? Well, we did manage to have a temperature of about 25 degrees for a high. That's 25 degrees Fahrenheit, a little chilly there, but that's as warm as it gets in some places on Mars, and 106 degrees below zero. Ground temperature was about, let's see, 45 degrees above zero and 155 degrees below zero for a low temperature. More about exometeorology, what the weather's like on Mars at the Curiosity rover. Stop by the Jet Propulsion Laboratory and find out more at mars.nasa.gov. Little, if anything, in the way of earthquakes either. We did manage to pick up one earthquake into and around the area well to the north of Dyersburg, and we did manage to see that right up around the Winburg area, 1.6 that happened about 6.30 last night, uh, about maybe five miles deep. So that's about the only earthquake that we've managed to pick up even close to the Mid-South area on the New Madrid fault line, so good news on that. This information courtesy of the Center for Earthquake Research and Information at the University of Memphis and a lot more details available at the United States Geological Survey. If you'd like to see more on their website, all you have to do is go to earthquake.usgs.gov for more information or just usgs.gov for more for details. And they have tons of information available there. Traffic again this morning, everything moving along except where it's not. So cloudy, drizzly, misty morning out there 
and traffic as per usual stacked up in the usual places. This page courtesy of Vector Vanderbilt's cameras out there. Across the area where it comes to our weather bug cameras, foggy in and around Germantown, looking at the area there with the traffic uh, jammed up with a train going through earlier this morning around the area of Poplar Pike and Germantown Road and just north of Germantown High School there. Downtown Memphis, drizzly, a little bit of cloud cover, well, a lot of cloud cover, a little bit of rainfall on the river early this morning. A lot of clouds over Power Center Academy into the area of southern Memphis and also to see if anybody's out on the golf course. Windyke Country Club looks like things are decently quiet for right now. Grounds crew out there, but not too much golf going on. More of our weather bug cameras available at wrhg.com slash webcams for more. Currently looking at... Well, the blank screen. There we go. Thank you. Advanced Hydrolog Hydrologic Prediction Center. And seeing again the Mississippi River, which has peaked at this point in time. Looks like it is uh, heading its way downwards. There we go. On the way crested over the last couple of days and now making its way on down toward the south and to the e to the west of us. Again, looks like it's finally making its way uh, down well away from flood stage at this point in time and should continue that right on in through the rest of the weekend. Storm systems, we got again that light chance of a sprinkle or two this morning and some of that will linger into this afternoon, this evening and around midnight tonight. Most of that passing its way back on over to the east of us. By tomorrow morning, Wednesday, a few scattered showers kind of back build into the area briefly before our next storm system and this one gets a little bit more vigorous as it gets a little bit closer to us as it makes its way off the Rockies a little bit more room to maneuver and that's where we start to see again the possibility of some more powerful thunderstorms coming our way as we get into the end of the week now as of right now seeing very mild temperatures today temperatures pushing 80 degrees across much of the area mid to upper 70s for the most part scattered showers could limit the amount of sunshine that we get and temperatures back in the mid to upper 60s for later on tonight. For tomorrow, high temperatures once again back into the lower to mid 80s. Probably going to be picking up at least a little bit more sunshine out there. Not by much, but at least we'll be picking up some out uh, across the area, which will help to warm us up by just a little bit. And chances of rainfall out across the Mid-South, mainly limited to, again, just showers, but could be some thunderstorms out there by today into the afternoon hours and into tomorrow as well. Wednesday night temperatures back into the mid-60s and seeing again those chances of rain showers pretty much gone from the forecast Wednesday night. Thursday, high temperatures lower to mid-80s and again chances of showers and thunderstorms mainly in the afternoon and evening. Thursday night low temperatures, upper 50s to lower 60s with chances of showers sticking around. It's Friday that we see some fairly mild temperatures coming on through, 70s for most of the area, 80s on down to around the area close to south of I-40, possibly for some of the metro area as well. And chances of rain showers really starting to make their way in, including some stronger weather for Friday night. Could be some problems as we go throughout the area there. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for the latest. Quick peek at Saturday. Temperatures much cooler back in the lower to mid-70s. And unfortunately, there will be chances of rainfall sticking around much of the area as we get into around the early part of the weekend at least. We'll keep up to date with what's going on with the forecast as we go throughout the course of the rest of the next several days. So I want to stay tuned for more on News Channel 3 with that. So we'll keep you updated on what's going on out there. Stay tuned for News Channel 3's Todd Demers coming up on News Channel 3 live at 9, also on News Channel 3 at noon. And of course, Tim and Jim will have more on your forecast. That'll be on News Channel 3 first at 4, a little bit later on this afternoon, keeping you updated with what's happening around there. What's going on with astronomy? Well, with the clouds overhead tonight, probably not too much, but we'll take a closer look at that coming up a little bit later on. If you'd like to see more about what's happening with astronomy and science and all that neat, cool stuff that's going on out there, check out our video astronomy blog called Skyblog 3. We'll be recording it later on this afternoon, keeping you updated with what's going on with all things astronomical and letting you know more about what's going on in the Mid-South. Questions, concerns, ideas, anything that you want to see on here that we might have missed, climate, worldwide weather, anything like that going on, please let me know. Just email me at austin.onic at wrg.com. We'll be glad to let you know more about what's going on in your world. If there's something you want to see, let me know, and we'll try to get it on here for you as soon as we possibly can. Live and direct from Out and About on News Channel 3's video weather blog, Weather Overtime, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for today's edition. And again, stay tuned for more coming up throughout the day on News Channel 3 on air and online.